Hey guys, it is Kevin here in Japan, and I kind of just want to go on a bit of a ramble. Not so much a rant, because it'll be a little more low-key than a rant would be, but more of a ramble about work ethic, and working hard. And it's interesting. The older I get in life, and the more experience I have um, doing things, I find that I've become a much harder worker than when I was um, younger. <clears throat> um, I got to admit, when I was in my early 20s, probably even mid-20s, I was, I was a pretty lazy guy. I had periods where I worked hard. When I worked in uh, graphics, in the IT industry, when I was in my early to mid-20s, I was a pretty hard worker. And when I first moved to South Korea in 2002 to become a teacher, I have to admit that in the initial phases, I was not a hard worker. And if there's a few of you out there who know me from those days, you might agree. <laughs> but as I got older, I changed. And I think a lot of that had to do with you know, maturity, which age is in no means a, a marker of maturity. I've met people in their 30s and 40s who act like high school kids, who work as hard as high school kids. But then again, you know, there's a lot of high school kids that work really hard. It all depends on personality, upbringing, a lot of factors, culture, <clears throat> expectations, goals, and I think myself, I'm a very goal-oriented person, um, so when I have a goal, a target, I work hard for it. For example, um, when I think about my running, I really do enjoy running, but if I'm not signed up for a marathon or some kind of specific target to train for, um, it can be challenging for me to, t to train. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy for me to make excuses not to train. Um, but if I am signed up for a race, I, I train quite consistently. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so, and another thing that I've noticed as I get older, <coughs> old for Kevin here, and I'm in a position where I work with more people, I'm in more of a position of authority, training people, working with people, mentoring people, I realized that people who work hard aren't so common. I'd love to think they were. I'm not being pessimistic about this. To be honest, I'm just being kind of a realist. I'm calling it as I see it. <clears throat> and you might agree with me out there, but I tend to find that hard workers are not common. They're hard to come by. And it's not a cultural thing. Um, I'm not a Canadian. I think with Canadians, Americans, and Brits, and Kiwis, and Aussies, I've met Japanese people, Korean people. Um, I've met a lot of lazy people who are given clear sets of expectations and tasks, and they don't do it, or they don't do it well. And, you now I come from, uh, um, look at, this is my thought, I just noticed there's a Korean restaurant here. I have to check that place out sometime. Um, Korean food can easily distract me. So, um, so I'm a teacher, and I realized a long time ago that as a teacher, I didn't realize this in the beginning, but now I know. As a teacher, a te being a teacher is not a nine to five job. It's not a, it's not a nine to three job. And, and sadly, a lot of people who are ignorant in the world think that teachers have an easy life because they have long summer vacations and winter holidays. And there's a lot of animosity and negative feelings towards teachers in America and Canada um, just based on ignorance like people are just ignorant they don't know they don't know anything about teachers they like, oh, they get a holiday a lot of holidays but what they don't see is they think that teachers just work from 9 in the morning until 3 o'clock in the afternoon they don't see <clears throat> they don't see the teachers spending their weekends um, researching uh, you know how to teach guided reading doing literacy workshops. They don't see the teachers doing professional development workshops on their, on their days off. They don't see the teachers staying up until 11 o'clock at night, researching lessons, doing assessments, marking papers. They don't see the stress that we have when we have to deal with parents who are irrational, unreasonable, and often as parents not doing their job. They don't see that. Um, so... You know, and when you're a teacher, you don't get overtime either. You get a salary. And I'm aware of that, and I'm 
I'm okay with that because teaching is what I do. And I have to do a lot of work outside of work hours. But that's okay because I'm a teacher and that's what teachers have to do. You gotta work hard if you wanna be good at what you do. And why? Well, I feel good knowing that I've done a good job. I know my family's proud of me when I do a good job. And most importantly, I work hard for the kids in my class. I don't do it for myself, I do it for them. Yeah, sometimes a little pat on the back for yourself is always nice. Someone else gives you a pat on the back, it's always nice. But at the end of the day, you work hard for the kids in your class. Um, so, as the new school year goes, has, has begun, and, you know, you meet different personalities and new people, you kind of sit back and you really appreciate those few who do work really hard. And they work really hard not because they have to, but they work very hard because they know that that's just what you have to do to be successful. And I suppose at the end of the day, when you think about it, you look at entrepreneurs, business owners, people who own schools, people who own IT startup companies, people who are successful work hard. And that's, I think, the key to success in life, working hard. And you do have to find a balance. you got to, you know, if you've got a family, especially if you have children, you can't work all the time. You need time for your wife, you need your husband, you need time for your children, you need, you know, all that stuff. And you need time for yourself away from work. You need time to be able to kind of relax and chill. I find it hard to do that sometimes because I'm always working. If I'm not doing my schoolwork, I mean, you guys know, you know, follow me, I just wrote a book. Did that in my free time. I certainly didn't do that at school. Um, I blog, I video blog, I do a lot. Sometimes I think I do too much. To be honest, um, it probably would be in my best interest to kind of go, go dark social media wise for a while and just kind of chill out and relax and this and that. I'm not saying I'm going to do that. Um, but it probably would be best for me. So, um, working hard. Again, kind of come back full circle to what I was saying earlier. Over the years, I've learned that not a lot of people do that. And I didn't do that either. God, I'll be the first to admit that I think my first two teaching jobs I ever had when I was younger, I was lazy as shit. Um, I was in Korea at that point in time, more to have fun, to experience living in another culture. It was an adventure. And there's nothing wrong with having an adventure, but you have to realize that although you're on an adventure, you have other responsibilities. Um, you have responsibility to your employer, the people who hire you, the people who give you a paycheck to do well. You have a responsibility to yourself to do well. And most importantly, if you're a teacher, you have a responsibility to your students. To give them your 120%. Well, it's this place. It's cool. Check this out. A greenhouse restaurant, cafe restaurant, and party space. It's the middle of the city here. Wow, look at that. I'm just wandering, by the way, guys. Pretty awesome, guys. And weddings here, the wedding. All right, guys, we can put that on the list of places to come to. Wait, no, I gotta. Where the heck am I? I've been walking for so long, talking. I don't even know where I am right now. All right, guys. Well, I completely broke my whole uh, line of thought. So there you go, guys. If there's something you enjoy, you want to be successful. My advice to you: work hard. Luck helps too. All right, guys, take care. It is Kevin here in Japan, and thanks for hanging in on a, on a rather longish video for me. I, I don't tend to make videos this long these days, but, you know, hey. Um, yeah, there you go. Thoughts here on Jayland Kev. And um, check the links below. Oh, cool. Oh, it's a lemon. Lemon. Oh, really? Lemons. See, look, it's a lemon tree. You thought I was just going crazy. Check all the linky links below, guys. Like I mentioned, I just wrote a book, Teaching Asia Tales and the Real Deal. 
Yeah, I could be plugging it for a long time in videos. Um, there you go, folks. Words of wisdom from Kevin? I don't know. But words, nonetheless. I right, take care. Kevin here in Japan.